you are worthy. You are worthy. Say you are Alpha. Alpha. And Omega. We worship your name. We worship your
accept you. We hail you, oh star. We hail you. says and he went into the synagogue Acts chapter 19 verses 8 and he went to the synagogue and spoke boldly for three months 
reasoning and persuading concerning the things of the kingdom of God. Just, just make it a little bit lower. But when some hardened and did not believe, but spoke evil of the way before the multitude, he departed from them and withdrew the disciples reasoning daily in the school of Tyrannus. And this continued for two years so that all who dwelt in Asia heard the word of the Lord Jesus, both the Jews and the Greeks. Verse 20 says, So the word of the Lord grew mightily and prevailed. An open door is uh, set and it has manifested before the Apostle Paul. And uh, he has begun to preach in Ephesus. And a great and effective door is opened before him in the face, yes, of uh, adversaries. But in this open door, Paul enters through it and begins to minister the word. And the Bible says, regardless of the, of the, of the you know, um, opposition, regardless of the opposition, the Apostle Paul advances and goes further to minister. And for three months, he's in the synagogue. And even when they bring more trouble, he picks up the disciples who are actually 12. And for two years, he continued uh, to those and with those who are there until all Asia hears the word of God. And this morning, uh, I just have a desire that we pray that for all of us who are here and those that are watching us, you know, on Elevate TV, those that are following us online on our social media platforms, could they be YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram, or other, you know, forms of social media that we are streaming on? What us to pray, and especially for those that are watching us that are not here, that the word of God will come to their lives mightily in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter their force and the opposition in the airwaves. This word must advance forcefully in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 12 verses 11, The kingdom of God suffered violence from those days of John the Baptist until, the, until today. It still suffers violence. And this word must advance forcefully. Here is an open door that is set before us. And even if there is opposition and there is they are speaking evil of the way, we must continue to speak until all Asia, until all Kenya, until globally and all the world, people hear this voice in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is not a simple issue. This is a major issue. We must advance and we must take it by force in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to ask the church here to pray for the church that is online, to pray for the church that is watching us globally and in all the countries of this nation in the mighty name of Jesus, that the word might advance forcefully and mightily in the mighty name of Jesus. Become an intercessor for a man this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on, listen for your voice in the mighty name of Jesus. Early in the morning, early in the morning, early in the morning, you can and raise your voice in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and call upon the name of Jesus 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 with this open door in the mighty name of Jesus and with this tool that is called Elevate TV in the mighty name of Jesus we must advance the kingdom of God this is called advancing kingdom lifestyle Karoza Yabahanda Peshuka Tarabaganda Repnadosia this is called advancing kingdom lifestyle and that's what we are doing this morning this early morning in the name of Jesus we pray my father from this place from Nairobi Kenya Kasura Bakanda Zantoma Kateria Shatara Makatara Bakanda to better raise your faith to better lift your faith territories are not taken by sister people territories are not taken by by soft people territories are taken by people Shakataya Bakanda that are warriors in the spirit let there be warriors in this place in the mighty name of Jesus Isaiah chapter 62 verses number 6 the Bible says I have set watchmen Rapura Mashaka Tarabaganda, Reprandosia Baganda, 
we pray for the online church in the mighty name of Jesus because God has given us authority Isaiah 62 verse 6 my brother God has given us authority over everything that creeps on the earth everything that is under the sea and the birds of the air and we have power we have grace we have authority and therefore we speak in the mighty name of Jesus against every powers of darkness Masuka Tayabakanda that prevail that try to hinder the word of God advancing through Elephant TV, we answer Kasura Makatayaba, Mesuka Tayabaganda, Mekrabashe Kataba, Mesuka Tabaganda, Mekota Sakabe, Mesoka Tabe, Mesoka Tabe. This morning we are raising warfare in the mighty name of Jesus. Zaka Tayabaga, Sheka Tayabaganda. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 62, verses number 6. I have set watchmen on your walls, O Jerusalem. They shall never hold their peace day or night. You will make mention of the Lord. Do not keep silent. Basuka Tayaba. Listen, listen, listen to this. Isaiah says in 62 verse 6, that I have set watchmen on your walls, O Jerusalem. They shall never hold their peace day or night. You will make mention of the Lord. Do not keep silent. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Last week we said, the sons answered the enemies at the gate. Sura Makaturia Mazea. And this morning we're going to answer in the name of Jesus. This morning we're going to speak also. Because even if we have a calling, we have a mandate, we have a reason, we have a purpose. We have a reason, we have a purpose being in the center center and carosa and also streaming this word and this prayer and this worship to affect the world and this morning in the name of jesus the church that is here in the mighty name of jesus we are the intercessors we are the watchmen we shall never be quiet day and night in the mighty name of jesus lift up your voice declare in the name of jesus any force any push on elevated v any darkness any opposition through elevate tv this morning in the mighty name of jesus we have rise we have risen as sons of god and we are rising as sons of god we are rising as warriors in the mighty name of jesus not those that worry but those that war because our god is a man of war our god is a man of war our god and get your gear and get your gear and get your gear and get your gear in the spirit and get your gear in the spirit Zakatoria Maganda, Reposha Tabagate, Reprada Zuka Tayaba, Reprada Shoka Taba, Reprakatosia Perego, Repasha Kataza, Repasha Katasa, Repasha Kataza, Repaka Shakata, 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 Repasha Katapa, we speak. To Satanists, we speak to demonic forces, we speak Shakayama to sorcerers, to mantra prognosticators, to demonic entities, to spiritual forces of wickedness. We push them back, we answer them at the gates. Shatara Makatoba, Shetaria Makada, Shatara Baba Baba Kato, Shatara Baba Kanto, Shatara Baba Kande, Shatara Baba Kato, Shatara Baganda. We clear the crowd, we clear the crowd, we clear the crowd, we clear the crowd, we clear the crowd. Shataba Katoba, Shatara Baseka, Shantara Bakate, the Prada Sukata, Sukatara Baka. Zokatababa, Zokatababa Baka. In Joshua chapter 17. Thank you, Holy Ghost. No faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. And this morning, in the name of Jesus, we are not going to pay back the devil. In the name of Jesus, we can't back the devil. Rosa Katayabakanda. We take power and authority in the mighty name of Jesus. This word experiences attacks. This word experiences forces opposition. But we must also continue. We must also advance. In Joshua chapter 17. 
and verses 14 the bible says that the children of joseph spoke to joshua saying why have you given us only one lot and one share to inherit i'll repeat the children of joseph spoke to joshua saying why have you given us only one lot and one share to inherit since we are great people in as much as the lord has blessed us until now so joshua answered them if you are great people then go up to the forest country and clear a place for yourselves there in the land of the perizzites and the giants since the mountains of Ephraim are too confined for you. Joshua, Joseph had two sons, Manasseh and Ephraim. Manasseh to cause him to forget the pain in his father's house and Ephraim to mean double fruitfulness. And, and this children says, you have given us just, you know, Josh, I mean, you have given us just one lot, Joshua. But he tells them, if it is too small for you, Zantuma Kashura Baganda Go up, go up in the land of the Perizzites and the land of the giants And that's where you have been placed We have been placed right in the land of the Perizzites Right in the land of the giants Right where it is occupied Because for you to occupy For you to possess Is to drive out previous tenants by force and that is what we must do today where elevate tv has not been able to access in the corners of this kenya and the world thank you thank god that you're able to go through that through the app and the website but we must be able to advance more forcefully and gain more ground in the name of jesus this place is too small for us jesus of nazareth Sharuzia makanto bazekapa let me get another scripture for us said Haggai Hosea let me get this scripture for us this place is too this place is too confined for us this we, but we must we must drive them out 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 yes Hosea chapter 10 verses 12 the Bible says so for yourselves righteousness reap in mercy break up your furrow ground for it is time to seek the Lord here he comes and rains righteousness on you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We must break every pharaoh crowd. Hosea 10, 12. Every pharaoh crowd, every crowd that we have not been able to reach, we must break it forth. If it is occupied, we'll drive them out in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up those hands this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Speak to Elevate TV in the mighty name of Jesus. I can see some of you, you are being quiet, you are comfortable, you are okay. I command you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open up your mouth, open up your heart. Kashuta Maganda, we are not here for small gods, we are not here for small things, we are here for the kingdom of God. Every final crowd that you have not been able to get into, we break every virgin crowd, we break every crowd that you have not possessed, that you have not been able to lay our feet on. This is the day of the Lord. Favor comes upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. We we'll drive them out. 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 Crowds. Shataramaganda that have been occupied, crowds that have been taken by demonic entities, by demonic forces. Kasuta Makataba, Shantarabaganta, Parakuria Makatoba, Shantarabagateba, Shantoma Kataya, Shantoma Kataba, Shantoma Kataba, demonic forces, demonic forces, demonic entities. Some of them are forces, but what is going on is not right. What is being aired? It's not right. We pray this morning. We pray this morning. We must advance. We must advance. Take that crowd also. Take that crowd also. Take that crowd also. Immorality cannot advance on our eyes. Immorality cannot advance on our eyes. Vices cannot be advanced as we see. Elevate V. Rise up. Elevate V. You are there. Elevate V. Elevate V, you are there, you are born for such a time like this to advance. Kingdom lifestyle, kingdom lifestyle, kingdom lifestyle, kingdom lifestyle. Elevate V, you are born to advance. 
kingdom lifestyle. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Sharabuza Makataba. This is what must happen in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Find a place to sit in the next few minutes as we share God's word. Thank you so much, singers and musicians, for a good job. In the mighty name of Jesus, you can come closer here. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We bless those that are watching us and following us uh, on Elevate TV. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And all our social media platforms. Yes, in the name of the Lord. If you get more hungry, just come here. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Sometimes we continue a little bit further, you know, after we release you. So you can come here in the name of the Lord and the Lord make a way for you by God's grace in Jesus' name. We've been on a journey talking about the formation of Christ in believers, the hearts of believers. And uh, we took this yesterday and we also talked about partakers of Christ's sufferings. I'm not going to repeat that. It's on YouTube and um, in, uh, Facebook, I believe. Uh, and you can be able to get those teachings. We don't have a lot of time, so we just move along we start talking about the sufferings of Christ and uh, the reasons why believers suffer and he talked about the testings of the Lord we talked about the calling uh, callings related sufferings and before that we had demystified the matters of sin and suffering which is not really part of Christ's sufferings because Christ was found without sin but this morning I want us to just give one more reason you know uh, one more cause not reason but cause of uh, you know Believers suffering or are going through the sufferings of Christ before we look at probably a few kinds of sufferings uh, that Christ went through because it is not possible, the scripture says, for us to partake of the glory of God if we have not partook of his sufferings. Right? So, therefore, we must understand what are his sufferings. And God willing, before the end of the week, we'll look at what are these levels or dimensions, not levels, but dimensions of glory that Christ manifested after going through the sufferings. And uh, we are here by God's grace to be able to be edified and to be able to be formed. But for now, we just look at, you know, what are these kinds of suffering. But let me just give us one more cause of suffering for a believer. Um, and this is, uh, just, just get me James 1 verses 2, my brother. The name of Jesus. If this thing is together with us, um, may it arise in Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus. All right. So it's on the sides, not able to use that. So let me try use my Bible. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, I hope you have your Bible, even if it is not here. You, you know, you are big Bible that can scare the devil. All the small ones, you know. I would, I would want to say what I wanted to say, what you used to say a long time ago. But anyhow, James chapter one, verses two. My brethren, count it all joy. Uh, you can follow with that. Count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. And of course, Scripture says if you lack wisdom, you know, you, you ask of the Father. But verse 2, count it all joy, my brothers, you know, when you fall into various trials, knowing that this testing of your faith is going to produce something beautiful, it's going to produce a fruit in you called patience and now we are going to we see from i mean from there how that patience has its work so it's not easy but yesterday we said we count the joy we read the scripture in first peter chapter 4 don't go there verse 13 and first peter you know chapter 4 verses 1 to 2 and and, and the scripture showed us clearly that we should count the joy when we go through testings or we go through sufferings or partake through christ's sufferings because there is a glory that is going to be revealed after that, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And here, James is saying, count it all joy. You know, my father says, you count it like this. You know, trial one, joy one. You know, trial two, joy two. That there is always another side of that trial. There's always another side of that testing. There's always another side of that perplexing situation and circumstance. There is something that God is going to reveal and going to manifest through your heart and our hearts in the name of Jesus. And the number, I don't know whether it's number three or number four reason, you know, a cause of suffering is suffering in the process of maturity. Suffering in the process of maturity. Uh, Luke chapter 9, verses 23 and 24. Luke chapter 9, verses 23 to 24. 
allow me to be a bit fast. And he said to them, if any man who come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily. If any man who come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily. We are talking about suffering in the process of maturity. And follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. The same shall save it. There is, there is a level we go through. There is something called carrying our cross daily. There is something called carrying your cross daily. As a believer... You know, when we were young and, you know, right now we are still very young, you know, we used to tell one another, you know, carry your own cross, my brother. You know, when some tough thing comes, you know, we in a team and a company of some other brothers, we used to tell one another, carry your own cross. You know, because every person, every youth must bear the yoke of his youth, right? And as we grow in Christianity, there comes a time that we have to be matured, we have to be processed, we have to... You have to rise from one level to another level. And therefore, this causes us to carry the cross of Christ. You know, and, and this is very serious because Scripture says that Christ taught and said that if they actually slap you on one side, you give them the other one. Not that when they slap you on one side, you manifest the other one. No, 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 no. You give the other one. You know, it's talking about Christ's likeness in our hearts. It's talking about our resemblance and our transformation, our sanctification. Because salvation is good, yes, but that's a starting point. Justification is good, yes, that's a starting point. But we ought to grow. But we ought to mature. But we ought to, we, we ought to, we ought to press in. We don't see Jesus revenging for himself. We don't see Jesus answering for himself. Because it was through his cause that he would grow this way. That he would advance this way. And, and, and it's important to say that, yes, the Lord uses his word. To mature us as believers. And the more we expose ourselves to the word of God, the more we grow. Because faith comes by hearing. And hearing again the word of God. But God will also use circumstances and situations also. Besides, you, besides him speaking to your spirit. That verse that is in Psalms 23 verses 5. That verse that is Psalms 139. That verse that is John 3 16. And Zechariah 12 10 and all these scriptures. Besides that route and that avenue, the Lord will also use situations and circumstances to mature believers. And sometimes, some of these are really squeezing. We talk about carrying your cross. It's not easy. Even Jesus at some point was helped. There was a man from Africa, Simon, who actually helped Jesus to carry the cross. It was not easy for him to carry the physical cross. And therefore, some of these situations are actually pressing. They are perplexing. They are pushing us. But we have still to hold on. When it seems like he has delayed for too long. He has not answered. He has not come forth for a long time. He is not showing up. We must be able to develop strong stamina and a muscle. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you for that one year. And that one amen. Thank you Jesus. We must develop a certain stamina. Because it's unfortunate as we grow as believers... We want some quick fixes. And that's okay. I also need a miracle. But sometimes what we need is not a miracle. It's called patience. The scripture talks about patience and faith. 